All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, one word? Incredible. I mean, the CPO process is, is very simple. You go online, you place an order, you put down a $1,000 deposit, they give you a quick phone call to confirm everything, make sure it's all the specs you want, make sure it's the right car that you were putting the deposit down for, and then you're good to go. You wait a couple weeks, um, depending on where you are in the country, where the car is in the country, you know, they, they have to, A, take about two weeks to get it ready, and then, well for me, it was in California, I was getting it delivered in Maryland, they say at least two weeks to ship, so a rough estimate is at least you know three to five week timeline depending on you know how much they actually had to sort of refurbish or replace um, or touch up on the car but when I got it uh, as you guys can see from another video I thought the car looked absolutely incredible um, they did a great job cleaning it making sure everything looks great you know no issues with the leather um, the interior was flawless as far as I could tell and I bought the car with a little over, or a little under 73,000 miles, like 72, 600, 700, something like that. I now have 82,700, so I put about 10,000 miles on the car. Now, not to say there weren't any issues, as it was in the shop about two months after I bought it, but other than that, the only problem I'm having right now is that door handle on the outside. They're like, uh, when, when you pull the handle, you're not actually, uh, I don't know how to describe this. So I feel like on most cars you pull it and you feel like a pop because it's directly like linked to the, to the lever that unlatches the car. Whereas this is electronically done. So you just like pull the handle out really gently and then you hear like this uh, electronic thing release the door. So the problem is I think there's something there's an issue with the sensor or the wiring is off and that door is a little finicky sometimes so I think I need to get that looked at but other than that no issues besides having the control cluster this thing was like replaced but it was all covered under CPO warranty which is great I don't think that's a normal thing I'm assuming they don't replace the instrument cluster and uh, steering control module very often um, so other than that Obviously, I love the car. I don't have to pay for gas. I get free supercharging. The performance is insane. Um, and you get all this amazing technology, so I don't really have too many complaints. 17-inch touchscreen display is incredible. You can pretty much control everything, too, right from the steering wheel, which is awesome. Um, so maybe I'll do like a, a full video review of the Tesla, but as far as the CPO process goes, pretty flawless. You pick the car up, you bring your checks in, you get delivered a new Tesla, and, and it's it's a pretty uh, pretty incredible car. Uh, just the, the acceleration never gets old, never gets old. But I would say it's in pretty great shape for a four-year-old car that has over eighty thousand miles on it. Uh, I I think uh, I think this is a great bang for your buck if if you want you know a performance car car where you can fit friends and family and other storage stuff um, you know again a performance car where you don't have to pay for a ton of maintenance there's no oil changes um, there's there's no gas you know you're not getting 10 miles per gallon and you're still getting similar better performance than most cars out there I think it's a lot of fun um, the one thing I obviously miss is is a nice exhaust sound but you know more to come, more to come. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, whether that's another car or motorcycle to fill that gap. But hey, we'll we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, the CPO process, like I said, couldn't really be easier. Um, they just call you when it's ready and say, hey, when do, you, when do you want to come pick it up? You know, very helpful. They'll walk, they'll walk through the whole car with you if you want. Obviously, I watched a ton of videos online. I, I kind of even knew how this worked before I even used it. Uh, I had test driven a P100D, which was absolutely incredible. Um, but, you know, I don't really have any complaints about my Tesla. Um, and I would highly recommend a CPO vehicle if you're thinking about getting one. Um, you know, the, 
car drives great. Uh, I haven't had any like minor issues really with like them not doing something that they said they would. Um, they've been very responsive. They help me out. They have Tesla roadside service or assistance, whatever. So when my car had that issue with the instrument cluster, that's a free number. You just call it. Um, and you obviously, they, they came and towed my car for free. They gave me a free loaner and they reimbursed me for gas for that loaner while I had the rental car. So unfortunately the rental wasn't a Tesla, obviously very disappointing, but you know, they, they still give you a fairly nice car. Uh, it was basically a brand new like Nissan Pathfinder and uh, they do reimburse you for gas because I was like, wait, I don't get a fully electric car? This is, this is crazy. I don't even know how to use a gas station anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, it was a it was a pretty smooth process. Luckily, um, the hours are decent for the service centers. Yeah, what else about the CPO process? Let's see. I'm not sure why that guy is sitting two car lengths behind the start of the intersection. Anywho, um, what else? What else? What else? The only thing hard about the CPO process was honestly how fast the cars went. As soon as these used cars became available online, maybe it was just because I was looking for a very specific trim. I wanted uh, a P85, around $50,000 or less, with the carbon fiber uh, decor. I wanted black leather, and what else did I want? I guess for me the bonus is, well, oh yeah, I wanted a sunroof or a panoramic glass roof, so either one of those was okay. And then everything else was nice, which luckily I got, so I got the extra two seats in the back, which honestly nobody's sat back there yet, but it's a cool little feature to have. So technically I can seat seven. The winter, winter package, which is, I think the side mirrors are defrosted and I also have seat heaters for the rear seats. What else is there, what else is there, what else is there? Ultra high fidelity sound system white Alcantara headliner. I wanted the 19 inch wheels because it's either 19 or 21 inch wheels, I believe. And the problem with the 21 inch wheels is uh, I knew I was gonna be commuting from my class down to DC every day. And DC, the roads that I take to get to DC, tons of potholes. And even in DC on like K Street, tons of potholes. And those 21 inch tires have such a slim profile that if you hit something like that and you get a flat, I don't think there's a flat, a spare like donut in this car. So you would have to call Tesla roadside assistance. You'd have to wait, you'd have to get towed. And it's just a whole process. And I felt like the 19 inch wheels were just, just made a lot more sense. Um, they also wear better. They don't wear out as fast because, well, again, they don't have as, they, they have a, a bit bigger of a profile. Um, so I, I was happy to get the 19s. Um, I think it would have been like $2,000 to get a new set of wheel, wheels and tires from Tesla. So I'm happy with the 19s. Um, obviously the only issue I'm gonna have is blowing through those rear tires. It is rear wheel drive, I'm fine with that, but it did get a little dicey in the winter. However, as you can see in another vlog, I did drive in a nor'easter with this car. I made it all the way downtown. It was good to go, the traction control is great. Um, yeah, other than that one issue in the door handle, it's it's been flawless i mean it's it's a relatively new car i think the model s came out in 2012 so being you know the second year the cars were out with close to 80,000 miles um there's gonna be issues so you know you just kind of go into it knowing that i i had the one issue but they took care of it under the cpo warranty perfectly fine with that you know they were more than happy to accommodate me I let them know it's still under warranty they're like that is our our bad my fault you don't have to pay for any of that but order the parts immediately unfortunately because I don't think it's a common thing they did have to get the parts ordered from their factory out in I believe either the Gigafactory or Fremont oh, we got a cop car that needed a new tire someone stopped to help him good for him yeah, so they had to order the part from California, so it took, you know, two days to get shipped out here at least, which is why it took that much longer for me to get my car back. So that was a little disappointing, having this loaner for a full week. I love driving this car so much. It was, 
honestly to say miserable to, to be driving the Nissan Pathfinder over my Tesla. Um, that's how much I, I do enjoy driving this car and how much fun it is. I'll get to sort of an overview and some of the features on the car, maybe in another vlog, sort of just go over everything, um, show off some things, and uh, well, yeah. So on that note, note guys, if you're looking to buy a CPO Tesla, I would highly recommend it. Uh, I think they come in immaculate condition and you're getting it for much cheaper than a brand new car. Um, I think this car MSRP for like one hundred and twenty, two hundred and thirty thousand dollars or something, maybe more than that with all the features this thing had. But I got it for right around fifty thousand dollars. So that's a steal. However, it does mean that they are depreciating because my car does not have autopilot. It is a 2014. It has 80,000 miles. And well, the new Model S is pretty much look exactly like this. Just have a little bit more technology because they have all the cameras and radar and LIDAR for the autopilot. Uh, and the front bumper looks a little bit different on the newer cars as well. So those are some differences. Those are some of the, I guess, the drawbacks of getting a CPO, but free gas. I'm going to supercharge right now. Just got back from a road trip. I do still have like 50 miles of range, but if I have free time, I like to pop in here, just, just get it back up to a full charge. I did not install a wall charger in my house. So that is part of the reason why I like to come here. I get free supercharging for life, which is obviously incredible, and I will take full advantage of it. So, I'm gonna get a quick supercharge in, and uh, the point I'm trying to make is CPO vehicles, zero issues, highly recommend. If you're thinking about it, go for it. You will not regret it. Um... Yeah, that's about it guys, so thanks for watching.